Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention? Thank you for riding with us here at TWA Airlines. As we will be landing shortly, I would like to remind all passengers to buckle their seatbelts and prepare themselves for arrival. I'd also like to invite you to take note of the sloping shape and cavernous interior of the TWA terminal. <laughs> Architect Aero Surin's design expresses the excitement of flight by providing a fluid channel for light and air. We here at TWA Airlines are very proud of our terminal because it celebrates American innovation, technological developments, and the future of flight. Have a nice day. What a fascinating little tidbit. It really reflects the positivity and optimism of the beginning of the decade. I feel like we've lost a lot of this now. Do you remember how we felt when we started our trip? Uh, don't try and distract me. What about Woodstock? New York is just a stop along the journey, and we still have so much more to do. I just wanted to stop by and say hello to some of our old friends. Well, I want to go home and stay home. The last decade's been fun. But don't you think we're getting a little too old for this? I want to settle down and get a real job. Maybe raise a family. Life's a journey, man, and I'm not done with mine. Looks like I'll be heading out on my own. Have fun in suburbia. Thank <laughs> you. 
and dreams that we could reach a utopia. With unity and love, we could all band together to reach beyond ourselves. That's what early music was all about. But now, I'm not so sure. All the great leaders are dead, like Martin Luther King and Kennedy. The dreams we had are so much harder to reach than we thought, you know? Hendrix just really embodies the feeling of disillusion that it's a dark world, man. Wow, well, um, okay, I'm gonna leave you be. <laughs> you look like you've got some thinking to do. You know, Maybe I am getting too old for this. I mean, I think I'm 28. Um, I feel like I just can't relate to these movements anymore. Uh, you know, maybe I should just go home. Maybe Michael was right. Perhaps we'll go see a movie at the theater for old time's sake.
Enhancing drugs. Yes. Steroids. They just became far more. Like, every. It became to the point when it was like that was when the. Um, they really started to have tests to try to catch performance enhancing drugs, and even they were like super scarce and. Uh, only would test a few people, and they were still catching all sorts of athletes. So it just showed like how many of the athletes were using the performance enhancing drugs at the time. Um, and so, which two groups are to show up more in sports? African Americans, women, and women. <laughs> <laughs> women and athletes. <laughs> 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 So like, I was gonna share it. Yeah, <laughs> African Americans became far more common to the point that out that their their group of the population was far greater than um, expressed in sports of whites and um, women's sports became increasingly common. There was a the first college a women's college organization was started. CIAW, and they they had their first championships in the sixties. Right. So, which tele what which televised event um, gave um, a Kennedy an advantage against Nixon and the election of nineteen sixty? The debates. Yeah, Okay. I'll give a answer on this one. Which, which I don't think totally. So, yeah, because you can see you can tell by the. Um, because it was televised. Um, 
like your appearance matters more. Um, Nixon was more just sweaty. He was sweaty and nervous. He actually had a uh, he was he actually had surgery or something. Um, and Nixon had So, and in this, the first television debates, even though Nixon did better in the later debates, um, this gave Kennedy a uh, great advantage, and and it also shows that the American uh, focus on the president's family, like um, the first lady, uh, ja Jacqueline Kennedy, she did a televised tour of the White House, uh, and people watched that, and. Um, for fashion, people focus on Jacqueline Kennedy's fashion, as you can tell from our department store scene. Uh, it's just very interesting that, and uh, a presidential family in the beginning of the 1960s. Um, and which feature of t television become more prominent during the 1960s? Color. Color. Color broadcast. Color television. Color, color two. Color two. Color, color two. Yeah. Color. Okay, so color. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, so Different colors. So there's an increase in white. color television shows. Uh, for example, um, the Jetsons was released. Is a is that 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 broadcast station's first show in color? And also, there's a general increase of Broadcasting from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, so you can just see this increase in television usage. Um, All right. Um, what were some dances that moved people away from practice? Swing. And jerk. Jerk. Yeah. And. Um, what changed the new, did the new types of dances represent? Individuality? Yes. So um, people yeah. were not as dependent on partners anymore, and this also allowed them to add some individuality to their dances instead of having to dance with like man and woman partners. And um, so they were allowed to express themselves more freely and move more freely um, since they didn't have to worry about having <laughs> Okay, so what was Kennedy's announcement of the Golden Lamb of the Moon by the end of the decade response to? Sputnik. And a certain person that was a Soviet. Christian. <laughs> yeah, um, So yeah, they got the first man in space, which is pretty exciting. Um, so it felt like that they were just sort of really ahead of us in that aspect because our space program was like sort of not doing much at all. But for them to be able to get a man in space was kind of a blow to our self-esteem of the nation. So. Okay. And for the room, so can you tell me uh, why many new inventions, especially like household appliances, gave people like an optimistic view of technology, especially early part of the decade? Got it. Women had like more time. Right, exactly. So these new appliances, um, they made life easier, especially for women. Like they didn't have to do household chores that was menial, especially with dishwashing. They actually advertised this thing called like don't be afraid of dishwasher hands, which is like this condition where you can get control hands. But um, so yeah, that was really important for time saving. And then can anyone else tell me like what did the space race represent to the American people in the sixties? Exactly. It was a fight of American values versus Soviet values. People felt that if the Soviets won the space race, they also won idealistically because it proved that American values could not beat uh, Soviet. Okay. All right. So okay. So, what aspects of American culture were captured by um, pop artists like Warhol? Did this? Like consumerism and advertising. Yeah. Exactly. Warhol embraced consumerism and mass advertising. And he used the same techniques advertisers did to separate the image of the product from the physical product itself to really sort of also express the individuality of Americans and their me first kind of mindset during the 60s. And who is the concept artist who donated a statue to Yale and why was it significant? Um, 
place. Protested the Vietnam War and showed a movement towards love. Exactly. Lipstick. Concept artists like Oldenburg really embraced sort of taking a stand against what they felt was not right in America. Well, it's already gone. And they really they use their art to spark change and they encourage the various movements that are happening across America. Okay, um, what did protest music say about people in the early 60s? They were optimistic. Yeah, exactly. Um, the beginning of the decade marked a, great, a time of great optimism. People thought they would be able to change the face of America, um, which was paralleled by the protest movement. Um, it showed people that they could use music as a means to unify the general public. Um, and then, why were people so attracted to the drug culture and the bands that came out of it, such as the Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplanes? Well, um, <laughs> well, it had. There was a definite shift by the end of the decade. The optimism had pretty much faded. Um, people were really disillusioned by um, the promises that hadn't been fulfilled by the end of the decade, such as um, like the civil rights movement. Um, it, it, it led to the emergence of psychedelic rock, which urged people to use drugs to gain enlightenment um, and purpose that they had not found through the movements that had failed. Um, why were cars so affordable in the 60s compared to later decades? Um, there was a height of union mem membership that plummeted after the 60s. Um, and then there was a lot of affluence in the economy uh, with the economic boom in the 50s. Um, and then CEO and average worker pay was relatively similar, at least compared to today. It was still insanely higher, but today um, it's like 100 times uh, different. So, um, what style of car represented America's strength as a nation? Muscle cars. 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 Mu